setting off towards the Burwin Mountains. Yeah! We're gonna have a wonderful time. So we're about 10, 15 minutes, how long did you say, into the trek now? Uh, I'd say about, yeah, 15, 20 minutes. About 15, 20 minutes. Absolutely. Just walking through the little bit of a round here with the old Mike Gibbs, eh? We both got a tarp this evening, it's going to be my first ever time sleeping outside in anything other than a, a shitty little cheap tent. <laughs> But um, that's where we're heading to. What's it called? Uh, so we're in the Berwyn Mountains. So we're in the Berwyn Mountains. We're heading towards Cadder Berwyn. Cadder Berwyn. And just below that there's a, a tarn, which is a lake on top of a mountain. Which we're hoping to have a bit of a sure. refreshing little swim in. Yeah, hopefully. So we shall see. But what a beautiful day. No bloody complaints here. Meh! <laughs> I know, I know. And it's fucking glorious. Beautiful day. Eve. Have a little zoom in on the waterfall. Down, that's where the thing is. It's yeah. quite far. It's quite bloody beautiful. Yeah. It's making noise like I was having a dump then. <laughs> See what I mean? There's no trees up here. We've got like random little ones. Yeah. Get up so, still aiming for over there. Yep. Tarn the other side of that little so bank. Yeah. Tarn is just over there. That one there. Just over there, in between there and there. So what we're looking at, dude? That's a Rowan, Silver Sacaparia. So, and what's the uh, story? Uh, well, it's just thought to have been quite an important tree in like kind of ritualistic things with regards to like the pagans and druids. Just produced like a nice sort of berry, but it's not edible. Oh, so is this like a little, the ones sticking out, are they them as well? Yeah, they generally grow at high altitude, preferably like that. They're quite small trees, but they generally grow a bit higher up. They're cool, so they're known as mountain ash. Oh cool, so they're fruit bearing and they're up at these levels, so they're going to stick out, they, I can't can't imagine there's much other sort of like organic vegetation that you actually eat up here. No, no, but you can't eat the berries, the birds eat them. Oh you can't eat the no, berries? No, they're unedible but they produce like a nice berry. That's why people like them as ornamental trees, you can say they like have interesting little fruits. Yeah. Sort of type, yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Well thank you. Off, uh, off the path a little bit, gonna come down and have a little bit of a wash in the water. A bit sweaty. Say hello to little Lammy. Hello little Lammy. You're looking all fluffy and gorgeous. Mate, it looks proper relaxed. Just chill mate, I ain't gonna do nothing dude. You have a nice day. No, it's cool. I'm not going to do nothing, bud. Yeah. It's sort of a little plungy pool, but yeah, it's fucking hell. 
he's loved our uh, us being here that much. He's having a shit. What a joyous moment! Yeah, man. So what we got here? It's like a filter straw. It's just soil Sawyer. and water filter, yeah. So basically, it's got loads of fibres in it. And it just prevents all kind of bacteria and kind of stones and grit coming up through the. the so straw. is it particulates or can it do like legionnaires and stuff? Legionnaires as well, yeah, oh, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Ninety-nine point nine percent it says. That's what it says. Uh, th that will kind of filter. I think it's a uh, thousand gallons of water. So, oh, until the filter needs replacing? Yeah, until you've got to replace it, yeah. So it's, um, yeah, pretty handy for 30 quid. That's it's just a real good bit of kit when you're on quite big mountain hikes where you, you don't want to be taking loads of water up with you. So something like that, literally you can just drink straight out the source. That's so cool. Let's have a go then. After you. Let me help you with Yeah, man. I've got so much shit on me, it's fucking ridiculous. Oh, it gives, get, when we first started coming out, Gibbs would uh, make me open my bag and show him everything that I've actually got in there before uh, we actually left. Because I always took too much shit. Let's have a drink. Good well, man. Here you go. Yeah, man. little spot. I wonder how many like nearly fucking cave fucking cave and Neanderthals use this man. When that breeze comes in, shit me, my fucking the diameter of my testicles has just fucking decreased dramatically. Just have a little bit of a bit of a break. A little bit of a fucking bolt squeezer in there. Fucking gorgeous. So we still up around there to the left. Find the time. 
We might have a set of tent and maybe go to the top of the peak. I don't know if you can hear me because of the, the waterfall, but it's going to be fucking amazing. We'll learn some pine. That's it, because nobody's been up here for a while. The, uh, the sounds and all the effects haven't been fully rendered. We keep getting close to water sources, seeing them, not moving any closer necessarily, and all of a sudden the loud, the, the, the sound becoming more apparent over like two or three seconds. Strange man, holographic fucking reality man. I'm gonna bathe in a digital bath. Over the next hill, over the next hill, over the next hill. You got some money on your, uh, your camera? Oh, a bit towards. So definitely behind that bank now, right there on the start here. It's running out of space to be now, it's coming. Ooh. You sure about that fashion? Here we go. And if it's a reflection of the bracken or whatever, it looks a little brown. Have I just completely come off the path? No, it's just too excitable. Shame there's loads of algae on the uh, the tarn, but still looks pretty bloody nice. But this is where we're going. Well, there still. Over to there, but... Fly on my camera, dear fox piece. So we started, I mean, that's just a fraction of the path that we've come up. Now, all the way up to here. Back. You see the Black Mountains from up here as well. What is them? The Cab Cabri Mountains in Mid Wales. Oh, I want some chocolate. Oh. Cabri Mountains in Mid Wales. It's Cabri Mountains, the purple. Really? Oh, is that what they're called? What, what's the uh, deal really. with the purple? Thank you. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so gullible. Uh, what a cretinous bugger! <sighs> yeah, you will be. I'm gonna bum you tonight. Ah! The authentic hiker sound as well. The pans rattling. Sorry. 
yeah, yeah. Just uh, looking at the path like. Bit of wind. That's quite nice. Swallows are proper coming in close then. Swallows or what's the other one? Not Amazons. <laughs> Swallows and swifts. Wind's kicking up a little. <laughs> Look at them birds down there. Really gorgeous. Just die. Beautiful. Right, listen to this. It's like a rattling in my camera. Yeah. Can you hear that? Yeah. What's that? I don't know, it sounds like electrical. Hmm. Or uh, if it, it might be mechanical. Fuck, I keep getting like real bad vertigo, man. Down there. Yeah, it's sort of like giving me proper jelly legs. Worst case scenario. Yeah, especially with like a fucking 30, <laughs> 30 well, 20 kilogram bag on. Riding the fucking waves, man. I just actually heard like the whew, the wings. I'm not sure. Really able to land. I'm not sure how true that is. Apparently, if you see one of them on the floor, you've got to you're supposed to try and pick it up and let it. They can't take off from the ground. Whoa! They're like little Harry and George jets, man. Whoa! Mum's bum, is that right? That's fine.
down, have a cup of tea, and roll a little joint in here. What's this called? Like a, a buff or something? Uh, well, I thought it was like a buffy, but... A buffy? I'm saying it's not. What's the difference? Uh, well, the, the reason this is an ancient burial mound. Oh, cool. Hopefully a bit of... Minus the wind. It's fucking lovely. Cup of tea and a joint. Oh yeah. You never guess what? I forgot my time. No, you haven't. Uh, You're such a billy boo. Uh, uh, I'd be surprised if you got forgot anything. Uh, I'm always pretty much ready to fucking go, man. Bang. It is a bit pissy smelling in there. Probably because <laughs> that really people pissed. love fucking urinals. Am I in? That's the reason. Hey, gorgeous hair. That pissy smell. Fucking plants for hiking, yeah. <laughs> Switch it up. You out of focus, cunt. So just been had a bit of food in there. You come in for a little back up to the peak and then finding a place to camp. Coming right for us. Oh, oh, mate, look, look. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Woohoo! Oh my god, fucking hell. That's the worst one I twist. Oh my god, I thought I just jinxed him then. Fuck me. He's in trouble, man. Fucking hell, he's in trouble. Shit, he's in bad trouble. Shit out of me, so I bet he's when, when they twist, it's yeah, game no, over. It, well, yeah, he's, he's coming he down. He got the lift. Shit. Should go and see. Ah, he'd be all right. He's come down gently. Fuck me, that fucking was raving. Yeah. Da, 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 da. No, da, da, da. Anyway, fuck me. That was crazy. Left, but we've set up a camp. I'm fucking first time doing a bivy. I did not a bivy, a fucking tarp up, but I fucked it up, man. I did it sweet first time, but then I had a little battle in the wind. It fucking did ring. <laughs> to show you never can tell.
So, uh, the top bones of shit, though. <laughs> um, pretty compact in there. And, uh, my battery's gonna die. We just go to bed for a bit after eating them. I'm gonna fucking have a hot chocolate and a little Star Wars later on. <laughs> Bye!